good day. Today we will start discussing a power series. So before we begin solving problems, uh, let me ask you something. How can we evaluate a cosine of x without using a calculator? And is there an alternative way for solving differential equations? So the solution for these questions is called a power series. So a power series is a representation of a transcendental function, for example, this cosine of x, using an infinite series of polynomials. So let's start working with this equation. We have y double prime plus y is equal to 0. So y can be represented as the summation from n is equal to 0 to infinity of c sub n times x raised to n. And using a power rule, we have y prime is equal to n, uh, n is equal to 1 to infinity of n times c sub n times x raised to n minus 1. And y double prime is equal to summation from from n is equal to 2 to infinity of n multiplied by n minus 1 multiplied by c sub n times x raised to n minus 2. So we can substitute this expression, these expressions in this part. Now we have the summation from n is equal to 2 up to infinity of n times n minus 1 times c sub n times x raised to n minus 2 plus the summation from n is equal to 0 up to infinity of c sub n times x raised to n is equal to 0. So to make this part equivalent to this, we should start subtracting this by 2 and as a rule we should add plus 2 to this n. Now we have the summation from n is equal to 0 <coughs> up to infinity of n plus 2 multiplied by n plus 1 multiplied by c rate c sub n plus 2 times x raised to n and we have plus the summation from z n is equal to 0 up to infinity of c sub n times x raised to n equal to 0. Now we can factor this out. So we have x raised to n multiplied by the summation from n is equal to 0 up to infinity of n plus 2 multiplied by n plus 1 times c sub n plus 2 plus cn is equal to 0. So getting for the recursion relation, so a recursion relation is the relationship between this constant and this constant. So we have n plus 2 multiplied by n plus 1 times c sub n plus 2 plus c sub n is equal to 0. So by, man by manipulating this equation, we can get the recursion relation. So we have c, n c sub n plus 2 is equal to negative c, c sub n over all over n plus 2 multiplied by n plus 1. So this is our recursion relation. So after getting the recursion relation, we can now substitute for the values of n. So at n is equal to 0, we have c2 c sub 2 is equal to negative c sub 0 over 2 times 1. Simplifying this, we have negative c sub o or c o over 2 factorial. At n is equal to 1, we have c 3 
P sub 3 is equal to negative C1 over 3 times 2. And then at N is equal to 2, we have C sub 4 is equal to negative C sub 2 all over 4 times 3. So, we can substitute this value for this term. We have negative times negative is positive, positive, positive C sub O. 4 times 3 times 2 factorial, we have C sub O over 4 factorial. And n, at n is equal to 3, we have C sub 5 is equal to negative C sub 3 all over 5 times 4 and we can substitute this using using this term we have negative times negative is positive c1 all over 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 simplifying this we have c sub 1 over 5 factorial so, at n is equal to 4, we have c sub 6 is equal to negative c sub 4 all over 6 times 5. So, using, using this, we have negative c sub o over 6 times 5 times 4 factorial, we have negative c sub o over 6 factorial and last we have n is equal to 5 we have c sub 7 negative c sub 5 over 7 times 6 so using using this we have negative c1 over 7 times 6 times 5 factorial simplifying this we have negative c sub 1 all over 7 factorial. So, obtaining the results by substituting values for n. So, we can clearly see a pattern here. So, for every CO corresponds an even denominator. And for every value of C sub 1 corresponds an odd denominator. So, we can, we can create a formula by observing the pattern. Uh, also take note that there is an altern alternating sign for, for CO. We have negative CO here and positive CO and then negative CO. As well as on C1, we have negative C1 and then positive C1 and then negative C1. So for CO, we have C sub n, C sub 2n, since it corresponds to, a, to an even denominator is equal to C sub O over 2N factorial. And for the alternating signs, we have times negative 1 raised to N. So for C1, we have C sub 2N plus 1 is equal to C1 all over 2N plus 1 factorial multiplied by negative 1 raised to n. Before we obtain the power series for y, let's take a look at x raised to n. So for c sub o, x raised to n will become x raised to 2n, since we have both odd and even numbers. And for c1, which corresponds an odd number, an odd denominator, we have x raised to 2n plus 1. So, let's write this here. For even, we have x raised to 2n. And for odd, we have raised, x is raised to 2n plus 1. So, we can observe that this exponent is equal to this and this exponent is equal to this uh, 
Uh, therefore, we can clearly see a pattern here. So, uh, obtaining the power series for y. So, our y is, at n is equal to 0, we have c0 over 0 factorial, which is 1. We have c sub, c sub, c sub 0 over 1. And then negative 1 times raised to 0 is 1. So, therefore, we have c sub 0. Then at n is equal to 1, we have c sub 2 is equal to c sub o all, all over 2 times 1 is 2 factorial. Multiplied by negative 1 raised to 1, we have negative c sub o over 2 factorial and then this part is times x raised to 2 and then at n is equal to, to 2 we have c sub 4 is equal to c o multiplied by 2 times 2 is 4 factorial 4 factorial multiplied by negative 1 raised to 2 we have positive C sub O over, over 4 factorial and then times X is 2, 4 minus that, that, that. So we can factor our CO out. We have CO multiplied by 1 minus X is 2, 2 over 2 factorial plus x raised to 4 over 4 factorial minus that, that, that. So for c1, so for c1 at n is equal to 0, we have, at n is equal to 0, we have c sub, c sub 1 is equal to c1 over 1 factorial multiplied by negative 1 times 0 is 1 therefore we have c sub 1 over 1 factorial multiplied by x raised to 1 or x and at n is equal to to 1 at n is equal to 1 we have c sub 3 is equal to c1 over 3 factorial multiplied by negative 1 raised to 1 is negative 1 therefore we have minus c, c sub 1 all over 3 factorial and this part times 3 x is raised to 3 and then at n is equal to 2 we have c sub, c sub 5 is equal to c 1 all over 5 factorial multiplied by negative 1 raised to negative 1 raised to 2 is positive 1 so therefore we have positive c1 over 5 factorial minus dot 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 and we can factor out this c sub 1 giving us c sub 1 multiplied by x minus x raised to 3 over 3 factorial plus oh I forgot this part so we have c1 over 5 factorial multiplied by x raised to 5 <coughs> minus that, that, that and we have x raised to 5 all over 5 factorial minus that 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 so our power series for y y is equal to c sub o multiplied by 1 minus x squared over 2 factorial plus x raised to 4 over 4 factorial then minus that 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 plus c1 multiplied by x minus x sub x raised to 3 over 3 factorial plus x raised to 5 over 5 factorial minus that 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 so this part uh, can be represented by a transcendental function giving us y is equal to c sub o cosine of x plus c sub 1 
sine of x. So the the answer for this, the answer for this, y double prime plus y is equal to zero. So the solution is y is equal to c sub o multiplied by cosine x plus c sub one multiplied by sine of x. So for our next example, we have y double prime minus y is equal to zero. So from the previous example, we have y is equal to the summation from n is equal to zero up to infinity of c sub n times x raised to n. And our y double prime is equal to the summation from n is equal to two up to infinity of n times n minus one times c sub n times x raised to n minus two. So substituting this to this equation, we now have this the summation from n is equal to two up to infinity of n times n minus one times c sub n times x raised to n minus two minus the summation from n is equal to zero up to infinity of c sub n times x raised to n is equal to zero. So to balance this, to to make this equivalent, uh, we will we will subtract two on this in uh, on this index and adding two on this end. So we now have this. The summation from n is equal to zero up to infinity of n plus two times n n plus one times c sub n plus two times x raised to n minus the summation from n is equal to zero up to infinity of c sub n times x raised to n x equal to zero so we, we can factor out this and also this x raised to n we have x raised to n multiplied by the summation from n is equal to 0 up to infinity of n plus 2 n plus 1 times n plus 1 times c sub n plus 2 times x raised to n oh no yeah. minus I'm sorry minus c sub n is equal to 0 so to get the recursion relation, we need to manipulate this part. We have C n, C sub n plus two is equal to C n. So transposing this to the other side, we have C sub n plus two is equal to C n, C sub n, all over n plus two times n plus one. So this part is our recursion relation. We can now substitute for the values of n. At n is equal to 0, we have c, 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 c sub 2 is equal to c sub 0 or c sub o all over 2 times 1 or c sub o over 2 factorial and that n is equal to 1 we have c sub 3 all over uh, is equal to c sub 1 all over 3 times 2 and this part is also equal to c sub 1 all over 3 factorial and at n is equal to 2 we have c sub 4 is equal to c sub 2 all over 4 times 3 and this c sub 2 here can be replaced by this we have c sub o all over 4 times 3 times 2 factorial or we have c sub o over 4 factorial and at n is equal to 3 we have c5 c sub 5 
is equal to C sub 3 all over 5 times 4. Uh, substituting this C sub 3, we have C sub 1 all over 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. Simply C sub 1 over 5 all over 5 factorial. At n is equal to 4. You have C six sub 6 all over. Uh, we have C sub 6 is equal to C sub 4 all over 6 times 5. And C sub 4 is equal to C sub O all over 4. For factorial, therefore we have C sub O all over 6 times 5 times 4 factorial or C sub O all over 6 factorial. And last we have N is equal to 5 C sub C sub 7 is equal to C sub 5 all over 7 times 6. Replacing C sub 5, we have C sub 1 all over 7 times 6 times 5 factorial or C sub 1 all over 7 factorial. So after substituting for the values of n, we can create a formula relating these results. So as you can see here, for every for every CO corresponds an even denominator, and on C1, for every C1 it corresponds an odd denominator. So we can separate. Uh, we can create a formula separating this this CO and C sub one. But before we proceed, let's not forget this x raised to n. So for for c o for c sub o our x raised to n will be x raised to two n, and for c one our x raised to n will be x raised to two n plus one. So creating a formula, we have c sub two n is equal to c sub o all over 2 times n factorial and for other denominators we have c sub 2 m plus 1 is equal to c sub 1 all over quantity 2 n plus 1 factorial okay so obtaining the power series for y y is equal to y is equal to at n is equal to 0 we have c0 c sub 0 is equal to c sub 0 over 0 factorial therefore we have c sub 0 at n is equal to 1 we have c sub 2 is equal to c sub 0 all over 2 factorial so plus c sub 0 all over 2 factorial and since this part is equal to this so let's include this x raised to 2 plus at n is equal to 2 we have c sub 4 giving us c sub o all over 4 factorial so c sub o all over 4 factorial times x raised to 4 plus that, that, that. And for c1, so for c1 at n is equal to 0, we have we have c1. c1 is equal to 1 factorial, giving us c1 times x raised to 1. We have We have plus C1x. So at n is equal to 1, we have C, C sub 3 
which is equal to c sub c sub 1 all over 3 factorial so c sub plus c sub 1 all over 3 factorial times x raised to 3 and for n is equal to 2 we have c sub 5 which is equal to c sub 1 all over 5 factorial so plus c sub 1 all over 5 factorial multiplied by x raised to 5 plus dot 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 okay factoring c o and c1 so this is our power series for y and we can also transform this power series into a transcendental function giving us y is equal to c sub o cosine h of x plus c sub 1 times sine h x so this is our solution for y double prime minus y is equal to 0 So, for the last example, we have y double prime is equal to 4y. So, manipulating this, it will give us y double prime minus 4y is equal to 0. So, as we all know, our y is equal to the summation from n is equal to 0 up to infinity of c sub n times x raised to n. And our y double prime is equal to the summation from n is equal to 2 up to infinity of n times n minus 1 times c sub n times x raised to n minus 2. So, we can plug this in. It will give us the summation from n is equal to 2 up to infinity of n times n minus 1 times c sub n times x raised to n minus 2 minus including including this 4 we have the summation from n is equal to 0 to infinity of 4 times c sub n times x raised to n equal to 0 so to factor this to factor this out, we need to subtract 2 from here and then add 2 here, giving us the summation from n is equal to 0 to infinity of n plus 2 times n plus 1 times c sub n plus 2 times x raised to n and the summation from 0 to infinity of 4 c sub n times x raised to n is equal to 0. Factoring this out, it will give us x raised to n multiplied by the summation from n is equal to 0 of n plus 2 times n plus 1 times c sub n plus 2 minus 4 times c sub n so by manipulating these terms inside the bracket it will it will give us the re recursion relation so our recursion relation is defined as c sub n plus 2 is equal to 4 times c sub n all over n plus 2 times n plus 1. So after obtaining the recursion relation, we are now able to substitute for the values of n. So now let's proceed for n is equal to 1 we have 
season two. Oh, or lang sorry sorry. So let's proceed. For n is equal to zero, we have c sub two is equal to four times c sub zero of all over two times one. For n is equal to one, we have c sub three is equal to the two. 4 times c sub 1 all over 3 times 2 and for n is equal to 2 it will give us c sub 4 is equal to 4 times c sub 2 all over 4 times 3. Substituting this c sub 2 by this, we have 4 squared c sub 0 all over 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 or 4 factorial. When n is equal to 3, we have c sub 5 is equal to 4 c sub 3 all over 5 times 4 substituting c sub 3 substituting c sub 3 we have 4 4 squared c1 all over 4 5 factorial at n is equal to Four, we now have c6 is equal to 4 c sub 4 all over 6 times 5 simplifying this will give us it will give us since c sub, since c sub 4 is 4 squared it will give us 4 raised to 3 C sub O all over 6 factorial. And lastly, at n is equal to 5, we have C7, which is equal to 4 times C sub 5 times 7 times 6, all over 7 times 6, which, will, which can be transformed into, since C5 is 4 squared already, it will give us 4 raised to 3 times C1 all over 7 factorial. So now let's try creating a formula relating these results. So as you can see here, for every C sub O corresponds an even denominator, for example, 2 factorial. And for every C sub 1, corresponds an odd denominator for example 3 factorial so to create a formula with both odd and even we will separate c sub 0 and c sub 1 so for c sub 0 since it's it corresponds to a to an even number our, for, our formula is C sub 2n is equal to 4 raised to n multiplied by C sub 0 all over 2n factorial. And for C sub 1, our formula is C sub 2n plus 1 is equal to 4 raised to n C sub, C sub 1 all over quantity 2n plus 1 factorial. So, considering x sub x raised to n from our previous formula, we have 
x raised to 2n for even and for odd we have x raised to 2n plus 1 obtaining the power z series for y our y is equal to at n is equal to 0 at n is equal to 0 we have c c sub 0 which is equal to 4 is to 0 is 1 times c sub o all over 0 factorial we have c sub o then substituting n is equal to 1 we have c sub 2 is equal to 4 is to 1 is 4 times c sub 0 all over 2 factorial so plus 4 c sub 0 times c sub 0 all over 2 factorial at n is equal to 2 it will give us c, c sub 4 which is equal to 4 is to 2 plus 4 is to 2 c sub 0 all over 2 times 2 is 4 factorial plus that 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 and for our c sub 1 at n is equal to 0 we have c sub 1 is equal to 4 raised to 0 is 1 c sub 1 all over 1 factorial giving us 1 all over c sub 1 all over 1 factorial so including this x we have x raised to x raised to 2 then x raised to 4 we have here x plus when n is equal to 1 giving us c sub 3 is equal to 4 c1 all over 3 factorial times x is times x raised to 3 plus when n is equal to 2 it will give us c sub 5 which is equal to c sub 5 which is equal to 4 raised to 2 times c sub 1 all over 5 factorial times x raised to 5 plus dot 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 factoring c o and c 1 our power series for y is equal to c sub o multiplied by quantity 1 plus 4x squared over 2 factorial plus 4 squared x to the 4th all over 4 factorial plus that, that, that plus c1 multiplied by quantity x plus 4x cubed all over 3 factorial plus 4x squared times x raised to 5 all over 5 factorial plus that 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 our equivalent transcendental function our y is equal to c sub o multiplied by cosine h 4x plus c sub 1 sine sine h 4x so the solution for y double prime is equals to 4y is y is equal to c sub o cosine h of 4x plus c sub 1 sine h of 4x.